Bridge can be used to create output galleries for the web from your photos or images that you have and you're working with. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how you can do just that. I have a folder of photos open here in Bridge. I've got a bunch of photographs of a squirrel mainly. And I'd like to create a gallery to show these photos off. So I'm going to go to Output. And I'm going to activate my Output Workspace, which is a default workspace that exists inside of Bridge here from the Workspaces toolbar. And when it not activates, you'll get a view that's more appropriate for working with these output settings with a folder list on the left hand side and you have content down at the bottom, you have the output panel on the right and you have a preview in the middle. We're going to focus mainly on the output panel of course because that's where all the settings go. And we're not going to create a PDF today but a web gallery. So I'm going to click the web gallery button and here we can begin to go ahead here. So template we have a standard and we have a bunch of different and if you've been working with Lightroom you'll know there are a few airtight galleries and these are really cool and good looking galleries but they exist inside of Bridge as well. So I'm going to go ahead and select a few images here at the bottom. We have a little preview here and so I can refresh this preview right now by clicking the refresh preview button. And this is how a standard gallery is gonna look. There we go. And if I go ahead and select all of the photos and then hit refresh, you know, we're gonna see them with all the photos in here. And I'm gonna go and pick one of the airtight galleries. I'm gonna pick the postcard viewer and I'm gonna click refresh preview so you can see the base of this and what this does. So it's gonna go ahead and render out all of the images and process them. And in the preview here, we have the postcard viewer. These basically mean that we have laid out our images pretty much as postcards. When we click, they're gonna zoom in and out depending on where we click on the photos. All right, so that's all good, well and good. And I'm, let's leave the output view there. But focusing again on the output panel, we have, for starters, the site title that appears up top. We can customize that. So I'm going to say Squirrel Gallery. We have a color palette. We can select the background color by changing this here. And that's the background of the HTML document that it's rendering out. Secondly, we have the appearance. And here is where we, in this type of gallery, control what these settings are and how the photos are going to display. So I can do columns, I can do wider galleries, say six columns as I did now. And if I hit refresh preview again, it's going to do the configuration and it's going to update for me to have one, two, three, four, five, and six columns. So let's go ahead and reduce that down to say four. Let's increase the size of photo borders slightly. And why not also increase Actually, I like the padding the way it is. Distant, let's do a bit more of distance settings and let's do, this is basically how zoomed in they are when they're in the distant mode, which is this one. And clicking again when they're in the up close in the air. So we can do them slightly larger when they're distant. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and select my color palette and do that dark gray again because it looks much nicer. All right, so below that, we have the option of giving the images here a, a caption. So we can have that be captioned from the metadata here or a custom text if we'd like to as well. Finally, here we have the, our output settings which say which size the images are supposed to be exported out in as well as the quality of the JPEG files it'll be exporting out. At the end here are options all about the actual export. And we can have, as you notice at the bottom, we have two different buttons. We have one called save, which saves this gallery out to a file that you can upload, or a folder, I should say, with many files that you can upload to your server or any server. If you like, you can also type in your FTP server settings here and click upload, and it's going to automatically upload it for you to your server. Okay, so I'm going to refresh preview here again. And this is how it's going to look right now from within this viewer. And I think that's going to look, look kind of good. So I'm going to go and click save in this case. 
Oops, save location field must not be blank. We must not forget to browse to our save location before we attempt to click save. And I'm gonna save this in, on my desktop. So I'm gonna select the desktop, click save. And it's gonna process out all the images that I've selected. It's gonna prompt me gallery created. I'm gonna minimize bridge. I get my desktop here and I'm gonna pull up my web gallery here. And this is what it creates, an XML file with an images folder, HTML folder, and a bunch of other things. I'm gonna double click the HTML folder, bring it up inside of Safari, which is my browser of choice. And what we'll get here, once it loads, we'll get the exact gallery that we saw inside of the output module in Bridge. So it's a very good and very easy way to create a good looking gallery from within Bridge and taking it to the web without requiring so much of an effort to do it. So here we have the gallery, it's listing all the photos here as postcards, you just click on them, it brings it up nice and large, you can go between images here in the same row, click again closing. It's just a very nice and simple gallery, an easy way to show off some of your photos.